This is a Cybex EZS twist, and today we're going to show you how to fold it down, both with the seat forward facing as well as in the reverse position, which is possible, but does make the folded down product a little bit larger. So the normal fold with the seat facing forwards is a matter of first pulling back the canopy and then lifting up on this little lever here, and that will release that joint there and allow it to push down. The seat back will still be sitting up like this. Uh, you might notice that sometimes it gets a little bit hung up and you might be afraid of breaking it, but uh, if you carefully apply a little bit more pressure while holding up that handle, you will be able to get that seat folded down. The second step of the process then is to depress the safety button underneath here on the handle and then the main button here. So you need both at the same time, first the safety, then the main button, which is going to release this joint here. And what you'll notice when you press that is that a little uh, rectangular knob in a way pops out with like a red dot on it, yeah? That means it's released, it's not locked. And then we're gonna fold this down and keep your eye on that little white rectangular piece because it's not completely folded down until that pops back in. See, it's popped back in. Okay, now it's folded down. In order to unfold it, you are going to again need to press in on that safety and the other button. And you might notice that it's a little bit hard to push. What this means is that you're essentially pulling this joint too far out. There's a little bit of pressure to do so because the seat is right there. And uh, if you're having a little bit of trouble depressing that, you just need to pull it in a bit before you depress it. You'll again see that that thing pops out, which means it's unlocked. And then you can pull the whole thing upright. Okay, we're gonna reverse the facing. So now, in the reverse facing, you're more or less going to do the exact same thing. Push back the canopy, pull up on that handle, and that allows the whole thing to fold. Press in on the safety, push in on the button, and then you can push it down. If you hold the seat back as you push in, then you get it slightly tighter. But you can see that the seat protrudes a little bit higher up when you have the seat in the reverse position. So uh, that might be better if you're just putting it in a car, but obviously not if you need to take the least amount of room possible, like if you're on an airplane or something. And we're just gonna fold it back up in the reverse order. So in any case, that is how you fold and unfold a Cybex EZS twist, both with the seat in the forward and the reverse facing. We hope this video was useful to you, and if it was, we ask that you subscribe as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. Thank you.